Today we're at Code Node and it's the seventh annual Raspberry Pi competition. This year's theme is all about travel and transport. Our project is Traffic Light System and it's used to ease congestion at roadworks. You submit certain variables such as the type of road, the length of the road, like the speed, average speed on the road, and then our, our software will automatically find the best timings for the traffic lights. What surprises me most is their ability to learn, to adapt, to um, create those ideas rapidly with no fear, and so I'm just in awe of them, frankly. Our team name is the Pi Champions and we have a Minecraft kit which encourages children to walk to school um, more often. Transport for London, we're really pleased to partner with PA on this competition. And the quality of the um, submissions and the enthusiasm of the individuals has been tremendous. We're the pie protectors and we made the brainy baby belt and it basically sends out an alarm when um, the child's car seat belt has come unclipped. I just, I was just gobsmacked by how smart some of the people were, how great some of the solutions were. There were, there were some teams there where I just wanted to hire the people on the spot to come and work with us. Just uh, really bright, smart, enthusiastic people. Uh, so we set out to create a pair of light-up cycling bars which uh, show instructions of where to cycle on the hands by lighting up LEDs. And we also created a mobile app for iOS which you use to interact with the bars. Oh, it's been fantastic. Um, uh, at at Rolls-Royce we're trying to push what we call the ABCs, agile, bold, uh, collaborative and simple. And I've seen all of that today. I've seen teams coming together and exhibiting all of those characteristics. And when they come together and they try and solve an interesting challenge, that's when we see ingenuity. It's great. Ingenuity has the power to build a positive human future in a technology-driven world. And I am very confident, having seen all the fantastic stuff that all of you have done, that you're going to be able to make the world an even better place. The other thing to really take away from today is so much competition to get here. You heard how many entries there were. So the fact that you're through here today is really important. Now, whether you win or whether you don't win, that has absolutely zero to do with what you will do next. And what you will do next is the most important thing. And the winner is Pi Champions from St Mary's School in Horsham. And the winner is the Brainy Baby Belt. Our team started off as one person, but then we all gradually joined in and it worked much better when we had the four of us all working together. And the winner is Robot Apocalypse Committee Westminster School. Yeah, it felt, it felt really good because, you know, hearing and seeing all the other amazing teams, you know, it was a really, really good competition, so very unexpected. Very happy. The winner is Team Lightning from Skull, Crooken and Lynn. A very big surprise because we saw the other teams as part of Tamera amazing, but, like, it's, it's a good feeling with all the uh, months' work in preparation for this day. Just the, the amount they were able to do, um, and a lot of them very unaided, um, it's really impressive. Running technology teams myself, I think I would love to see more of that in my own teams, that kind of that, that innovative spirit and that enthusiasm, it's, um, it's really impressive.